All right, so did it again. I purchased yet another Carcano. Couldn't help but take advantage of their recent sale. RTI was running pre-1918 M91 Carcanos for 149 It was a pretty good deal. So I decided to jump on it. These are the Carcanos that came from the Italian cash, not from Ethiopia. So generally they're in better shape than the ones you would normally see on their website. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at what I got. So it came in the usual box that they come in. See it has the tag. It's got the butt plate. Looks to be in pretty decent shape there. It's got some storage dings. I don't see any cracks yet. Seems to be pretty dirty, but reasonably good shape. Looks to be a 1917 date. It does have the top handguard. You can see the import mark is underneath the barrel, so it's just a little harder to see than on the side of the receiver. It does have the little switch here for the bayonet catch. The bayonet is a little loose. That's pretty typical on that type of closure. Bolt's pretty sticky with Cosmoline, but feels like it should be pretty smooth once I clean it up. Looking at the other side, wood looks pretty good. Do you see what looks like a cartouche here? Hopefully when I clean it up I can see a little better. Overall, the stock looks like it'll clean up pretty nicely. Just pretty dirty. Looks like there's a lot of original finish left too. Looks like this is a Brescia manufacturer. And the stock serial number looks like it matches the carbine, but I'll see a little better when I clean it up. This also came with a free clip. You will need one of these clips to operate the rifle. They do come in handy. So overall it looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and break it down and show you how it looks. It's a typical condition for a Royal Tiger Imports Procano, the Italian cash. I got the butt plate off. You can see there's a whole bunch of mildew back there I'll have to clean out. Looks like the stock's in good shape. See the receiver, looks pretty good. I don't see any pitting or rust under the wood line. See there's that import mark. Went ahead and removed the bayonet from it as well. Got the bolt apart. Bolt components look pretty good. They are caked in a lot of grease, which is probably why the bolt wasn't as smooth as it could be. Trigger guard looks pretty good. I don't see any pitting on it. Just really dirty. Same with the butt plate. I do have a bunch of parts here in this pot. I'm going to boil and card. Let's go ahead and clean all this up and show you how it looks. So I got the Kirkano all cleaned up. Take a closer look at it. The butt plate turned out pretty nice. And the stock's looking pretty good. I'll probably do a little more linseed oil. Few weeks down the line 
but you can see it's cleaning up pretty nicely. It's got a pretty decent finish on it. Same with the top hand guard here. The bayonet looks pretty good. Sometimes this is pretty badly pitted, but I don't see any pitting on the bayonet. Trigger guard's in pretty good shape. Definitely some patina here, but the boiling and carding got rid of any rust. It's got a pretty nice receiver. It's got some extra markings I don't usually see. It's also got, looks like matching numbers on the bottom of the barrel. You can see some patina here. Or was exposed to the air. See a little bit more patina here. You can see where the wood ended and is exposed. Cleaned up pretty well where it was covered up here on the muzzle. All these parts are in pretty good shape. The bolt was caked in grease, but boiling it and cleaning it out, this bolt looks pretty good. The firing pin's in excellent shape as well. All the grease got cleaned up off of it. So I'll go ahead and reassemble it and show you how it looks. All right, so I got the Carcano all put back together, cleaned up, take a closer look. Starting with the butt stock, the butt plate, pretty good. Definitely cleaned up a lot better than what it was. Trigger guard's in good shape. Has a lot of original finish left. Some patina. Went ahead and put some chalk in the markings. You can see that 1917 date. The Brescia manufacturer. Serial number there. Stock's in really good shape, and I like how the top hand guard matches the stock. Some of them have a lighter or a darker hand guard up there. You can see the barrel cleaned up really nicely. There was a little bit of surface rust that cleaned off pretty well. Same with the bayonet. I'll go ahead and turn it over. Flipping the other side. See the wood's in good shape. The serial number on the stock matches the rifle. You can see kind of the remnants of a cartouche here. Can't really make it out. It's really nice grain in the wood. See a lot of original finish on the barrel. So it's certainly a used rifle and has some dings and wear from storage, but for the price they're offering, you know, anywhere between $100 to $200, I mean, this is a pretty good deal, I'd say. I'm thinking about getting one of these, I'd jump on it. I'm sure these are going to go up in value over the years. So it'd be a pretty good investment. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you liked uh, the cleanup for the Carcano. I'll have another video out soon on the 1945 dated K98 that I got from World Tiger Imports. I also have some other projects coming in from other sources than World Tiger Imports. So stay tuned for those. Should be coming out later this winter and also in early spring. If you have any questions about this rifle, feel free to drop in the comments. If you'd like to be alerted in my videos, feel free to subscribe and sign up for alerts. And as always, thank you for watching.